Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can do a mail merge to an email. So you've got lots of clients with email addresses and you want to send them, for example, a discount price list for some products that you might have. So mail merge is where you merge a database list into a document and then either print it off if it's a letter type document or a um, flyer or catalog or email it if you've got email contacts and you want to save paper maybe so that's what we're going to have a look at now to do it you need to go onto the mailings tab and then you need to start the email merge so we're going to do email messages click that option the page immediately changes to show it as an email. Now what you have to do then is either type in new list if you've got no list to reference or use an existing list which is what I want to do. So existing list which I've got one set up on OneDrive stock list that one. It's just an Excel spreadsheet that'll do. My first column this has got the headers fields for this. Now as you come across here you've got the address block option which just gives me names or you cancel that you've got the insert fields you can do that you can insert a field or you can insert a greeting line greetings line so if I come down on this one a bit and then just type dear space and then insert name now, if I have a look at that, what does that look like? Dear Steve Saxton, that's okay, because this is going to come in as an email. I'm okay with that, and you might want to put some signatures at the bottom of this, but if I want to finish this off now, I'll go finish and merge. So this is what you would do if he's going to check it in a, in a Word document or print it. This is the option we want, send email messages. Now, it says to email, so email is a column in that table. And subject line, I'll call it discount. And then you have mail format. Now you have to be careful with this. If people have their mail format on HTML, everything's okay. You'll see it exactly as it is there. If they have it set to plain text, however, this might not appear to them as it looks like now. You will only know that as if you send it to yourself and set your settings in Outlook to text only then this table might not format as a table as an attachment though it will come in as an attachment the whole word document would come in as an attachment so that's that's a, a good option to look for but i'm going to leave it on this one and then i'm just ready to send it you click ok to send that and then off it goes in to outlook and that's basically how you do it what you have to do now is just check that that's turned up in Outlook. So I've just dropped into Outlook and I've got four email messages there and you can see it as it sits there. That's how it looks in my email. So the mail merge did work. Now if I go back to the Word document, if you look at the recipient list, so it's just um, four people but I use my email four times so you could come to myself so you could see how it looked so we had four contacts in this database and four emails was sent so that's basically how you can use the mail merge feature or mailings as it's called to send multiple emails to your customer base be aware that some um, web pages and some sites will have limits on how many emails you can send out at once you might need to make sure that your settings are changed to cater for that i know mine my default setting on my service provider is just 50 emails i had to change that to a thousand um, otherwise it'll just not go so just need to be aware of that and just check that the the email is coming through send yourself a copy make sure you can see it how you expect to see it so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one